Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with another Stratomatic football game for you, 1972 action. We're going to have the 1972 Vikings visiting the 1972 San Francisco 49ers. Now, this game was actually played in real life. It was the last game of the 1972 season for both teams. And San Francisco originally won the game 20-17. to The uh, defense for Minnesota is uh, average against runs, excellent against passes. And for San Francisco, they are good against runs and average against passes. So we will do the kickoff. I'll get to the lineups as the first uh, offensive teams come out. But we're going to do the kickoff, and um, Minnesota will receive the kick. And that is a 7. So a 7 on the San Francisco card on kickoff is to the 7, number 1. So Minnesota receives the ball at the seven-yard line, and their number one back will return it. So we'll have to go get the card for that. And that is a nine. So let's see. Nine on the kickoff is 23 yards, so they're out to the 30. So Minnesota will go into action first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Now, the offense for Minnesota is uh, the backfield will be Ed Marinaro at halfback and Oscar Reed at fullback. The split end will be Gene Washington. The tight end will be John Beasley. And the flanker will be John Gilliam. And the quarterback, of course, for the 1972 Vikings is Fran Tarkenton, who Attempted 378 passes, had a 56.9 completion percentage for 2,651 yards and 18 touchdowns. And so with all of that out of the way, we are going to get going here. And it's going to be an end run with a halfback for Minnesota. And that is going to be a nine. And... Uh, they were wrong, so end run nine for the halfback. When wrong is four yards. So they got a second and six. And of course, here's my timer. It'll move one tick for every play, regardless of whether it's a running play or a pass or an incomplete pass, uh, because that's the no that roughly pans out to the number of plays in a game. I won't move it on any kind of a kick. So with a second and seven to go, they're going to, or a second and six to go, they're going to go off tackle with the fullback. And they are wrong again, And but that's a five, so it doesn't matter. It's on the San Francisco defense off tackle, which is a fumble two yards, two to 10. Two to 10, they fumble the ball. Eight, they do fumble it. Two to six or 12, they get it back. Seven, they don't get it back. And so, two yards up the field, San Francisco gets the ball back, and they've got a first and ten all of a sudden at the Minnesota 36-yard line. And they're going to go, okay, let's go over the San Francisco offense. For San Francisco, they will have... Uh, Preston Riley at flanker, Gene A. Washington at split end, the tight end is Ted Qualick, uh, the fullback in the backfield is Larry Schreiber, the halfback is Vic Washington, and the old ball coach Steve Spurrier is the quarterback for the 49ers. And this was year, a few years before he was traded to the, or traded to or signed with the Buccaneers, the expansion Buccaneers. But anyway, we're going to go end run with the halfback. And that's going to be an eight. And they were right. 
So end run halfback eight is negative six. They lose six yards on that. So now they've got a second and 16. And they're going to go long pass. Spurrier is going to drop back and go long to the split end. So that means that the target here is Gene A. Washington, who was quite good. And that's going to be a six. There's a possible penalty on the 49ers, though. But they were wrong. And a six is going to be receiver. First of all, let's see if there was a penalty on San Francisco. That's a three. Opponent number one. So opponent number one on a pass is... Uh, let's see. Well, first we have to determine whether it's a completed pass or not. Uh, so we will uh, roll on the receiver's card. And it is a six on Gene Washington's card for long. And that's going to be a long gain. And that's probably a touchdown, you've got to believe. That is a seven and uh, seven is, no, it might not be. Seven is 38 yards, so it isn't. It's four, 10, 20, 30, and four. Puts them down to the, um, the Minnesota seven yard line, but let's see, that was a completed pass. So let's check the penalty on that. Personal foul 15 yards from the concluding line of scrimmage and a first down. So it's going to be half the distance. It's at the seven. We'll put it at the four. So that San Francisco is going to have a first down at the four yard line of Minnesota. That defense, that purple people leader defense is going to have to rise to the occasion here. They're going to go line buck with the fullback. And that is going to be an 11 on line buck for Minnesota. And it's going to be negative one. So now they're at the five. They've got a second and goal from the five. They're going to go end run with the halfback. End run with the halfback five. That's a possible penalty or a possible fumble, I mean. Um... End run five is a fumble negative two, two, two to nine. It is a 10, so it isn't, but they do lose two more yards. And now they have a third and goal from the seven yard line. And they're gonna try a short pass to Gene A. Washington. And that's gonna be a four. They were right, though, and that's incomplete. So now they have a decision to make. Are they going to go for the touchdown from the seven, or are they going to kick the field goal? And they're probably going to kick the field goal. Let's see. The kicker for San Francisco was Bruce Gossett, and from the seven-yard line, he is 2-8, to eight, 11 or 12. Good. They'll try to kick the field goal. And that is a seven, so it's good. And San Francisco takes a seven to nothing lead here. And now San Francisco will kick off. That is an eight. And that is going to be to the three, number one. Minnesota receive, will receive and return it from the three yard line. The number one back, that is a six. Six is 27 yards. So they're again out at the 30, just like they were the first time. And they're gonna try an end run with the halfback. The halfback in this case being Ed Marinero. And that is gonna be a six end run on the San Francisco D. And that's gonna be a yard. Now they're going to try a short to the split end. The split end is, G, is uh, Gene Washington. 
not Gene A. Washington as San Francisco has. And uh, that is going to be an eight short pass eight on the San Francisco D is going to be 13 yards and a first down. They got a first and goal or a first and 10 at the 40 at their own 46 or 44 yard line. They're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback nine, and they're wrong. So nine and run is four yards. Second and six, they're going to go off tackle with the fullback. They're doing a conservative game plan here. They uh, dodged a bullet in allowing San Francisco just a field goal when they gave the ball to them in their own territory. That is an eight. Off tackle eight for the fullback. Wrong is only two yards. So that's going to be a... That's going to bring up a third and four situation. They're going to go flat to the tight end. This, I think, is the first pass attempted for um, um, Tarkenton, and that is a four flat pass. Could be picked off five yards, two to two to six, eleven or twelve. It's picked off nine. It is not, uh, so it's incomplete, and Minnesota is going to have to punt. That is a six. So the punt is 44 back two. Um, 10, 20, 30, 40, and four. They're returning it from the six yard line back number two for San Francisco. That's an 11. And that's going to be um, 13 yards. That's pretty good. So they're going to have it first and 10 at their own 19. San Francisco will. And they also have a... Um, they also have a 3 nothing lead here. They're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback. And that's a 5. Um... And they are looking for the, they're looking for the run. So that's an end run five. And that's going to be a fumble zero, two to four or 12. And that's a six. So it isn't a fumble, but it is zero yards. And they're going to try a long pass. They're going to air it out. They're going to go long to the split end. Gene A. Washington. And that's going to be a four. They're guessing right. But that's going to be a double. That's a double long gain. So that's a long gainer there. And that's a 10. Long gain 10 is 50 yards. So 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Back it off 1. And they are down at the Minnesota 31-yard line. And they're going to go back to the run. They're going to go end run with the halfback. So Spurrier passing for quite a few yards here. That is an 11, and they are wrong. 11, end run, wrong is 7 yards. And they got a second and three. Second and three, they're going to go short pass. They're dropping back. They're going to go short to the tight end. Short pass to the tight end, and that is a three. Short pass on Minnesota is intercepted 11 yards, two to three. And it isn't, so it's incomplete. 
So it's going to be second and, uh, or third and three. Third and three, is that right? Yeah. Third and three, they're going to go flat pass to the halfback. Well, I get accused of not passing to the running backs, so <laughs> seven flat pass on the Minnesota defense is going to be three yards and a first down. They just barely get the first down and they keep the chains moving here as the clock is moving and we are have we have little less than a half of the first quarter left. They're going to go short to the split end. Gene A. Washington, they're targeting him again. That is going to be, they are wrong on that and it's a five. Short pass five is 14 yards, 14 huge yards. And they're down to the Minnesota seven again. They were down there before, but they only came away with a field goal the last time. And in fact, I had marked it down as, as a touchdown. <laughs> but they actually got a field goal. So they're up three nothing. They're down at the Minnesota seven yard line. They could really open this game up a little bit. And they're going to go end run with the halfback. End run with the halfback, and that's a 10 on the Minnesota defense end run. And that's going to be four yards. So they have a second and goal. Second and goal is the first quarter is starting to wind down here. They're going to go short. To the tight end. Short pass to the tight end, seven, and that's going to be 12 yards and a touchdown. Spurrier throws a touchdown pass, and the extra point for them misses on 12. And it doesn't, so now they do, they have a touchdown there, and that gives San Francisco a 10 to nothing lead over the Minnesota Vikings. And they will kick off. The kickoff is a six. And that's going to be to the five, number one. Uh, Minnesota will receive it at the five. Their number one back is going to return it. That is an eight. And that's going to be on the San Francisco return card for kickoffs, which is 22 yards. They're out to the 27. So Minnesota has a first and 10 at the 27. Oh, no, I don't move it on that. And they're going to go, Fran Tarkenton's going to throw long. He's going to go long to the flanker. They, they want to open this up a, a little bit here. And that is a three long pass on the San Francisco defense. And it's going to be 30 yards. Fran Tarkenton hits his target. 3, 10, 20, 30, and back it off. 3. And Minnesota has a first and 10 now at the San Francisco 43-yard line. I think this is as deep into San Francisco territory as they've been. Could be wrong on that, but they're going to go short to the split end. They're going to keep going with this. See how far it can take them. Eight. A roll of eight on Tarkenton's card. When they're right. Is incomplete. So they got a second and ten. They're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback nine. And that's going to be... Eight yards, that is crazy. So they've got a third and two coming up. Third and two. They're going to go flat to the halfback, Marinaro. Marinaro, whatever his name is. <laughs> Three flat pass on the San Francisco defense is incomplete. Now they've got a decision to make. And it isn't much of a decision. They're going to go for it. 
They're going to go for it, and they're going to go flat this time to the tight end. High percentage pass. Should be good, hopefully. It's an eight, but there's a possible penalty on San Francisco's defense. Eight um, on flat pass. Is receiver, first of all, let's see if there's going to be a uh, penalty on San Francisco. That's an eight. There won't be. So um, they were wrong, and this is to the tight end. And the tight end, flat pass, um, nine. Is going to be 11 yards, so they do get the first down. And they needed that. They really needed that. There was just no question that that had to be a go-for-it play. And they're going to go first and 10. They're going to go end run with a halfback. And that's going to be a six. End run Marinero is, he gets seven yards. So now that's a second and three. And they're going to go short pass. Right here, they're going to go short pass, try to get the touchdown, throwing it into the end zone. That is going to be a 12 short pass on the San Francisco D. And that is going to be 12 yards, 2 to 8. 7. It is 12 yards and a first down. And they have the ball at the 5. And there's only one more play left in the first quarter. They have a first and goal at the five. They're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback four <clears throat> on the San Francisco defense. And that's going to be seven and a touchdown, Minnesota. And let's see if they miss the field goal. They don't. Fred Cox is their kicker, and it's automatic. And so the Vikings pull themselves right back into this game. It's 10-7. And we're going to be starting fresh with the kickoff and at the start of the second quarter. And uh, that's a nine on the kickoff, which is negative two in the end zone, back number two. San Francisco is going to try to run it out. They're going to elect to run it out with the number two back on the kickoff. That's a ten. And that's a 22-yard return, which is actually puts it at the 20, which is where it would have been if they had accepted it. Or if they had just, you know, taken the touchback. So San Francisco has a first and 10 at their own 20. And they're going to go long again. I mean, that's worked well for them today. So they're going first down, long pass, 7, right, on Spurrier's card, it's incomplete. Second down, they're going to go short to the tight end. So now San Francisco coming out with a passing game. That is a six. And six short pass is negative eight. So Spurrier gets sacked, loses eight yards. And now they've got a long way to go. Now they don't have a choice. They're going to go long to the flanker. Opening up this offense here, three long on the Minnesota defense is incomplete. So they're going to punt, obviously. Punting from deep in their own end, though. Seven, that is a 40-yard kick back number one. Three, 10, 20, 30, 40. And three, Minnesota's returning from their own 48-yard uh, line. And we will flip the card, and that is a 10. And that's going to be a fair catch. Fair catch at the 48, and they have a first and 10 very close to San Francisco territory. They're going to go end run with the halfback. Yeah. 
That's going to be a seven end run, and they're right. That's going to be zero yards. Second and uh, ten. They're going to go short to the split end. Tarkenton back to pass. Worked on the last drive. Three short pass on the San Francisco defense is incomplete. So they have a third and 10 coming up. Third and 10, they're going to go flat to the tight end. Maybe they get 10, maybe they don't, but then maybe they force a decision. That's a six flat pass on the San Francisco D, and that's going to be a short gain, so they will get the first down. And that's an 11, which is only 11 yards, I think, but it's good enough for a first down. That's all they care about. And they keep the chains moving. So they're going to go end run with the halfback. Marinero is getting a big workout here. That's a 12 end run on the, Minis uh, on the San Francisco D. And that's going to be five yards. They've got a second and five coming up. They're going to go short to the split end. Short to the split. That's an eight. They were right. And it's going to be incomplete since they were right. So they're going to go third and five here. Third and five, they're going to go flat to the tight end. They did it the last time and they picked it up. Flat to the tight end, nine. And they were right. That's going to be receiver. So they will roll on the tight end's card. That's John Beasley. That is a four and that is going to be three yards. And so now, again, they have a decision. They're at the 33-yard line. A field goal from the 33 for Minnesota would be 2-3. to three. Good. Not good odds there. They're going to go for it again. They went for it last drive, and it paid off for them. They're going to go flat to the halfback. That is a 12 flat pass right. And that's incomplete. And so San Francisco will take over on downs. They will take over at their own 33 yard line. And the ball coach is gonna drop back and throw long for the flanker on first down. They're right though, and that's a three. And that's gonna be incomplete. Lucky for them. So it's uh, second and 10. They're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback 10, and they're wrong. And that's two yards. So they've got a third and eight coming up. Third and eight, they're going to go flat to the tight end. Minnesota tried that, and it worked. And that's a seven flat pass on the Minnesota D. And that's going to be three yards. So they have a decision to make themselves, but not really. They, they have the lead. They're in their own territory. And they got to go six yards for a first down. They're going to punt. That is a seven. That's a 40-yard back one. Two, 10, 20, 30. 40, and back it off one. They're returning it from the 21. Back number one on the punt return. That is a 10, and that's a fair catch. So they have it first and 10 at their 21-yard line. Minnesota does. They're going to go end run with a halfback. And run with a halfback seven. There's a possible penalty on San Francisco, though. That's going to be zero yards. But let's see if uh, one of these two has a penalty. Seven. That is in. That's no penalty. So it's second and ten for Minnesota. From their own twenty-one. Tarkenton's going to air it out. He's going to go long to the split end. they got to keep the defense honest here. That is a seven-long pass. 
and that's going to be a negative eight. So they sack Tarkenton, which is a hard thing to do. Because that dude was squirrely. He could run around, get away from you. But now they've got a third and forever. And they're going to go long again to the flanker. They have to punt. They have to punt. Hopefully, Tarkenton doesn't throw an interception on this. But that's a 10. 10 long pass. Is going to be receiver. And... Uh, Receiver and they're wrong. Going to the flanker. That is an eight. And that's a long gain. Let's see what the long gain gets him. That is an eight. Not a very great long gain. It's 41 yards, but it does let them keep the ball. Two, 10, 20, 30, 40. And back it off one, and they have the ball at the 40 or at the. Uh, at the, they have it in San Francisco territory at San Francisco's 46-yard line. And they're going to do that again. They're going to go long to the split end this time. Thinking San Francisco won't be looking for that. Possible penalty on San Francisco, though. It's a six long pass on the defense. That's intercepted two to seven. They might have to hope for a penalty. It is intercepted, but let's see if the if there's a penalty on San Francisco. Eight, there isn't. So it is intercepted 32 yards down the field. One, 10, 20, 30, and one. San Francisco is returning the interception from their own 14-yard line. We'll roll for that. It's a seven. I think it's zero. It is. So San Francisco has it first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. And they're going to go end run with the halfback. Trying to play it safe here. They have the lead. That's a six end run on the, San Fran or on the Minnesota D. And that's going to be two yards. So it's second and eight. Second and eight, they're going to go off tackle with the fullback. Lost the dice. That is a that's a off tackle wrong with the fullback is fumble zero two to three or twelve and he does fumble two to six or twelve they get it back eight they don't and they give the ball to Minnesota on a fumble this is an incredible turn of events for Minnesota they're going to take over at the San Francisco 16-yard uh, line. And they're going to try a short pass to the tight end. Now, passing got them in trouble last time, but let's see what happens this time. Six short pass on the San Francisco D is going to be a negative seven and a sack. So they have a Second and uh, second and 17. They're going to go end run with the halfback. Now they just want to get closer. That is a three end run, but they were right. And that's going to be five yards. So now they got a third and 12. Third and 12. They're going to go short to the split end. Short to the split end, nine, and they're wrong. And that's incomplete. And we're at the two-minute warning. Time won't move on the next actual play that's run, but this is going to be a field goal attempt from the 24-yard line for Fred Cox. And he is 2-6 to six or 12 good. And it is good. And they tied a game. The Vikings tied up at 10. And the Vikings will kick off. That is an 11. 11 on the kickoff is a touchback. 
So San Francisco is going to have it at the 20. No time will move on this first play. They're going to go end run with the halfback. And that's a two end run on the card, though. It's not on the defense. but And they were right. And it's only two yards. And time didn't move. So they got a second and eight. They're going to go short to the split end. They're going to kind of try to play both ends against the middle here and see what they can do. That is a five short pass, right? Yep, short pass on the Minnesota defense. And that's going to be receiver. They're wrong. And the receiver is the split end for San Francisco. That's a nine. And that's going to be 21 yards. Three, 10, 20. Back it off. Two, they have a first and 10 at their own 44-yard line. 40, 43-yard line. Time did move on that. They have their timeouts. They're going to go long to the split end. They're not going to take a timeout yet. Um, eight long on Spurrier's card. And that's going to be incomplete. Uh, second and ten, they're going to go short to the flanker. Short to the flanker six on Minnesota's card. That's a negative eight. Spurrier gets sacked for an eight yard loss. Now they're definitely not taking a timeout. They're going to go on third and forever. They're going to go long to the split end. And that's going to be a nine long. And that's negative nine. So they're deep, deep in their own end. Not really, but they are but they have a long way to go to get a first down. So they're going to punt. That's a two. It's a booming punt. And uh, the punt is by uh, Jim McCoy. What is it? Jim McCann. And that's going to be 63 back to. Three. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Back number two for Minnesota returning from his own ten. That is a five. And that's going to be 16 yards. Pretty good return. And they'll have it first and 10 at the 26-yard line. And they're going to go and run with the halfback. They're content to go in to halftime. Tied with San Francisco. Nine and run on the San Francisco D. Is eight yards. So they've got a third and two, or a second and two. Second and two, they're going to go flat to the tight end just to try to, you know, keep the ball. And that is a seven possible penalty on the defense. Um, seven flat pass is four yards. It'll be a first down. Let's see if there's a penalty on San Francisco. Eight, there isn't. They get a first down and they keep the ball. And they're going to go end run with the halfback. Keep it conservative. Keep it, you know, go into the half. 11 end run on the defense wrong. And that's going to be eight yards again. They've got another third and two or a second and two. They're going to go flat to the tight end. Flat pass to the tight end. Six. When they're right. And that's going to be incomplete. 
And this is going to be the last play. They're just going to air it out. Long pass. San Francisco looking for the long pass. It's a seven. Long pass on Tarkenton's card is incomplete. And that is the half, and that's how we are. We are tied at 10 between the 72 49ers and the 72 Vikings at halftime. Hello, sports fans. We're back for the second half of this football game between the 1972 49ers and the 1972 Minnesota Vikings. And uh, as you can tell, it, it, or you, if you've been following the game... The score is 10 all right now. And San Francisco will receive the opening kickoff from the Vikings. So the kickoff is a 10, which is to the nine, number two. So San Francisco will be returning the ball from their own nine yard line with the number two back. And that is a five, which is 15 yards. One, 15, back it off one. And they are starting at their own 24 yard line. So they are going to go and run with a half back. Spurrier is still in there, and we got to roll and re-roll the dice. That is a three, and that's going to be a short gain. And a short gain eight is 14 yards. So they have it first and 10 at their 39 now. Or at their, yes, 39-yard line. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. Off tackle, nine. And uh, they are looking for the run. So off tackle, nine, looking for it is negative one yard. So they have a second and 11 here. Going to go back to the halfback. They're going to go end run with the halfback. That is an eight. And they're looking for the pass. Wait. No, they're looking for the run. Um, so this is an end run eight for the halfback. That's negative six. So they're only losing yards now after getting that initial first down and they have a six uh, like 18 yards to go here let's see four yeah 18 yards uh third and 18 they're gonna go short to the split end short pass to the split end that is a three and uh let's see Short pass three is 16 yards, but that's not quite enough. But let's see, four, 10, two. Yep, they have a fourth and two. Now this would be a risky call right here to go for it, but they're gonna do it. They're almost in Minnesota territory. They're gonna go flat to the tight end on fourth and two. And that is a six not looking for it and uh that's going to be nine yards and a first down so they gambled and they won and they are now at the minnesota 45 and they're going to go back to the halfback and on in on an end run and that is a nine on the defense possible penalty though on minnesota but nine and run is five yards. Let's see if there's a penalty on Minnesota, though. Eight. And uh, there isn't. So they get five yards. 
And there's a second and five coming up for San Francisco. They're going to go short to the split end on second and five. Possible penalty on Minnesota again. Eight. And let's see, eight short pass is incomplete, but let's see if there's a penalty on Minnesota. They don't have many penalties. They don't have many chances for a penalty, and then that isn't one either. So it is third and five. Third and five, they're going to go flat to the tight end. Spurrier dropping back with an eight. Looks like that's going to be, um, let's see. Looks like that's going to be a receiver. And it is. Tight end, and they were, Minnesota was um, wrong. No, they were right. Wait. No, they were wrong. So that's an 11. 11 on the tight end, wrong. On flat pass is five yards and a first down. They barely get it. They keep the chains moving. Now they're back to a first down. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback this time. Off tackle six on the Minnesota D. That's three yards. So they got a second and seven. They're just methodically moving it down the field. They're going to go line buck with the halfback. And that's going to be a five line buck. That is a fumble plus three, two to three or 12. That is not a fumble. So they get three yards. And now they have a third and four coming up. Third and four, they're going to go flat to the tight end. They're all bread and butter. And that is a six flat pass on the Minnesota defense. And that's going to be a short gain. And that is an eight. That is a 14-yard gain. Puts them down at the 20. They are now at the Minnesota 20 and moving methodically down the field here on their opening drive. They get an end run with a halfback is what the call is going to be. That is a seven. End run seven, probably going to be like zero. It's No, it's three yards. So they got a second and seven. Second and seven, they're going to go off tackle with the fullback. Now, all of a sudden, it's just easy to move on this Minnesota defense. Four off tackle. And um, they are looking for it. And it's still three yards. So they've got a third and four coming up. Third and four, they're going to go end run with the halfback. And run with a halfback six on the Minnesota defense. And that's going to be two yards. And now they've got a decision to make because they have a fourth and one. Fourth and one, they're going to go for it. They're going to go line buck with the fullback. Gutsy call here by San Francisco. That is a nine. And they are, let's see. They're looking for the pass. So this is a nine line buck. And it's going to be just one yard. That's exactly what they get. They get what they needed, and they have a first and goal to five. And they're going to go off tackle with the halfback on first and goal. And that is a 10. Off tackle on the Minnesota defense is five yards and a touchdown. They miss on uh, San Francisco misses on 12 and they don't. So they do get a touchdown and the 49ers take a 
17-10 lead. They take the opening kickoff and they go right down the field and score. And their kickoff is a three, which is negative five in the end zone. And Minnesota is just going to take it on the 20. And they're going to go end run with the halfback. End run with the halfback eight on the San Francisco defense. And that's going to be two yards. So they've got a second and eight. They're going to go short to the split end. They're only down by a touchdown here. Short to the split end three. And they're right. But it's still 15 yards. Three, ten, two. They're going to go back to the halfback and run with the halfback. Conservative, but hey, they're only down by a touchdown. Like I said, 2-9, and they're right. Um, end run. 9 is a 0. Second and 10 for Minnesota. They're going to go back to the short pass, short to the split end. And that is a nine, and they're wrong. Possible penalty, though, on Minnesota. But um, short pass nine is incomplete. Let's see if they have a penalty. Like I said, they rarely get one. It's a six. That isn't a penalty. So um, they have a third and, I think, third and ten now. Third and ten, they're going to go short to the flanker. Short to the flanker, five, possible penalty on Minnesota. They were wrong. And that's going to be 12 yards. Let's see if they have a penalty. That's a six, they don't. So four, ten, back it off two, and they have it first and ten at their own 48-yard line. They're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback nine on the San Francisco defense is eight yards. So they've got a second and two. Second and two, they're going to go line buck with the fullback. Line buck with the fullback seven on the Minnesota or on the San Francisco defense. And that's going to be two yards and a first down. So Minnesota has a first and 10 now at the San Francisco 42 as the third quarter is winding down. They're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback six on the uh, San Francisco defense. And that's going to be a yard. So they've got a second and nine. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. Off tackle with the fullback three. And on the San Francisco defense, that's going to be a short gain. That is a six. That's 16 yards. And now they have it first and 10 at the San Francisco 24. So they're looking to score on their opening drive too. They got an end run with the halfback on first down. That's a six end run on the defense. And that's going to be a yard. So they got a second and nine. They're going to go short to the split end. Short pass to the split end, nine. Possible penalty on Minnesota, and they were right. That's going to be incomplete. And let's see if they had a penalty. Nine. It's opponent offsides, so that's actually going to be a five-yard penalty. 
and it's going to be instead of second and nine as it was it's going to be second and four second and four they're going to go end run with the halfback and that's a three end run should be a short gain and uh it is and if they can roll it it's four 18 yards that um, actually is a touchdown. Yes, I believe so. That would be a touchdown. Yep. And they're going to roll for the extra, no, the extra points automatic. Uh, this is, uh, this is Fred Cox and he's automatic. So Minnesota ties the game, ties it up at 17. All both teams take the opening kick right down the throat of the other defense Minnesota's going to kick off eight, and that's going to be to the three, number one. San Francisco at the three. The number one back is returning it. That's a six. That's going to be 29 yards. So it's out to the 32. 32 first. Uh, first and 10 at their own 32 for San Francisco. And they're going to go long. They're going to come out and they're going to throw a long pass and try to catch Minnesota napping. That's an eight. Wrong. And that's going to be incomplete. Uh, they got a second and 10. They're going to go end run with the halfback. Going to go back to being a little conservative here. That is a nine. Nine and run when they're right is zero yards. And we are in the fourth quarter now, start of the fourth quarter. San Francisco with a fourth or a third and ten. Third and ten, they're going to go short to the split end. Short to the split, that's a nine. They are wrong. And that is going to be incomplete. So on um, 4th and 10, San Francisco will punt. Not a lot of punts in this game. Uh, 9 is 37 back 1. So 3, 10, 20, 30, and 4. And the number 1 back returning it on the punt. That's a 6. And that's going to be a fair catch. First and 10 for Minnesota at their own 26-yard line. They're going to go long on first down. They're going to air it out. They're going to go long for the split end. That is a six long pass. That might be picked off. Um, intercepted two to seven. It is intercepted 27 yards downfield. So... It comes back to bite them. Four, ten, twenty, and three. <coughs> and Minnesota on the interception return, or San Francisco on the interception return, is only four yards. So they have it first and ten at their own 45 yard line. And they're going to go in run with a halfback. Here in a tie game at 17. And that is a five end run. And they're looking for the run. And that's going to be a possible fumble, too. Uh, fumble zero, two to four, or 12. It isn't. So it's a zero yard gain. They've got a second and 10. They're going to go short to the split end. Spurrier is going to drop back and pass. Possible penalty on San Francisco. And five short pass right is 14 yards. But let's see if San Francisco has a penalty. 11. They do not. So that is a 14-yard gain. 
and that puts them down at the Minnesota 41 yard line. And they're going to go end run with the halfback. Halfbacks and fullbacks getting a lot of work here in this game. Six, but that's how it was in the 70s. Uh, seven, end run seven wrong. And that's going to be nine yards. They almost got the first down. Not quite, but almost. They have a second and one. They're going to go line buck with the fullback. Might as well just pick it up and then worry about what you're going to call 11. Line buck, fullback 11. And they are right. And that's going to be four yards. So they get the first down. They don't have to worry about trying to get a first down now because they have it. And they're going to go short pass to the flanker. Spurrier dropping back for a short pass. That is a seven short pass on the Minnesota defense. And that's 12 yards. That's going to hurt. They get a first and 10 now, and they have a first and 10 at the 17-yard line of Minnesota. They're going to go end run with a halfback. And that is a four. Possible penalty, though, on San Francisco. Uh, four right. It's going to be three yards, but let's see if there's a penalty on them. Two. I don't think it is. Oh, wait a minute. It, it's uh, offsetting penalties. So offsetting penalties, it'll be first and ten again. They're going to go short to the split end. Short to the split end, ten. And on the Minnesota defense, that's going to be a negative seven. They sack Spurrier. So now they've got a second and 17. They're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback, nine, on the Minnesota defense. And that's going to be five yards. Minnesota run defense. Yeah, it's, it says average, but they're giving up a lot of run. There's a lot of uh, ground game here. So they've got a, a third and, I think it's a third and 12 now. Third and 12, they're going to go short to the split end. Short seven. That's, 12, that's a 12-yard 12 gain and a first down. So they have a first and 10 now at the seven yard line. First and goal at the seven of Minnesota. And they're gonna go end run with the halfback. End run with the halfback nine. And that's gonna be five yards and it puts them down at the two. Second and goal at the two. They're gonna go line buck with the fullback. Line buck with the fullback three, possible penalty on San Francisco. Um, and they were wrong. So let's see. That's going to be a touchdown, but or San Francisco might have a penalty. That's a nine. Nine is opponent offsides. So they're going to refuse that, and it's a touchdown. And the extra point misses on 12, and it doesn't. So San Francisco now has 24 points, and they lead at 24-17, and they will kick off. And that is an 8 on the kickoff, which is to the 3, number 1. To the three, number one, and actually Minnesota now should be down here at this end going this way. I should have done that at the uh, change of the half, but I didn't. But they're returning the kickoff from the three. That is a five. And that's going to be 28 yards. So 
out to the 31. Pretty nice field position for them, but they, uh, they're down though by, uh, by a touchdown. They're just down by a touchdown. No need to panic yet. They're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback 11 on the San Francisco defense. And that's going to be six yards. Second and uh, four. Four minutes left in the game. They're going to go long to the flanker. Long to the flanker, eight. And they are looking for the run. So long eight on Fran Tarkenton is incomplete. They're going to go on third and uh, third and four. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. And that is a seven. That uh, even though they're wrong, I, I'm not. I don't have a lot of uh, enthusiasm for that. Oh no, they do. The short gain. It's a short gain because they were wrong, and it's a six, and it's sixteen yards. So a sixteen yard run gets. They burst one of those off, and now it is first and ten for Minnesota at the San Francisco forty-seven yard line. They're going to go end run with the halfback. End run with the halfback, too, is a long gainer and a possible penalty on San Francisco. The eight, eight on a long gain is 41 yards. Let's see if there's a penalty on San Francisco. It's a three. Opponent number one. So it's really on Minnesota. And that was a run. And it's going to be clipping 15 yards from the original line of scrimmage. That hurt. So now they've got a first and 25. First and 25, they're going to go long to the flanker. And we're saying San Francisco's looking for it. That is a seven long. Um... Seven long on Tarkenton's card is incomplete. They're going to go short to the split end. Again, San Francisco is looking for it. And it's a possible penalty on Minnesota, but it's a nine. Nine is a double long gain. So if Minnesota doesn't have a penalty, they got a long gain on this. That's an eight. I don't think they do. They don't. So that is a long game. We'll roll for the long game. That's a 10. And 10 on long game is 50 yards. So that'll put them at the 12-yard uh, line of San Francisco. Now they need a touchdown to tie. They're going to go end run with a halfback. There's still plenty of time left in the game. That is an 11 end run on the uh, San Francisco defense. And that's going to be six yards. So that's a nice pickup. They've got a second and four. Second and four, they're going to go off tackle with the fullback. Off tackle with the fullback is an eight on the uh, San Francisco defense. And that's going to be zero yards. So they have a third and four. Third and four, they're going to go end run with the halfback. End run with the halfback 11 on the San Francisco defense. And that's going to be... What is that? Six yards, and that is a touchdown because they're at the six. So, uh, and the extra point is automatically good for Fred Cox. So they do tie the game, and they will kick off. 
And uh, we're at the two minute warning, so time won't move on, on San Francisco's first play, but right now we've got a kickoff, which is a nine. And a nine on the kickoff for Minnesota is negative two in the end zone, back two. And San Francisco returned this earlier when it was negative two. They're going to return it again. Back two, eight. That's going to be on the Minnesota return. The Minnesota return is um, let's see. 14 yards, so it's only going to be out at the 12. So San Francisco has it first and 10 at the 12. They're going to go end run with the halfback. They have all of their timeouts, and time doesn't move on this play. Four, end run four on the Minnesota defense. That's going to be nine yards. It's going to be second and one. Time didn't move. Now they're going to go long. They're going to go long because they only have one yard to go. So they can. this can be a waste play. And long four on Spurrier's card. Is a double long gainer. And we will roll for the long gain. That's a five. 48 back, 48 yards, no, no bag. Four. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 4. And now they have it first and 10 at the Minnesota 31-yard line. They're going to go end run with the halfback. End run with the halfback, 4, wrong. And that's going to be... That's going to be 11 yards and a first down. And now they're at the 20. They have a first and 10 at the 20. And Minnesota's going to call a timeout here because they're going to need the ball. End run with the... Uh, they're going to go off tackle with the fullback. Off tackle with the fullback eight on the Minnesota defense. That's two yards. So time doesn't move because Minnesota called the timeout. They have a second and eight coming up. They are going to go end run with the halfback and Minnesota will call their second timeout. That is a six and it's a possible penalty on San Francisco. Um, it's going to be five yards, but let's see if they have a penalty. Eight. They don't. So they got five yards on that. And so they have a third and two. And time doesn't move because Minnesota called the timeout. They're going to call their third and final timeout. And uh, San Francisco is going to go off tackle with a halfback. Off tackle with the halfback 10 on the Minnesota defense. And that's going to be five yards and a first down. And they're out of timeouts. So now time will start moving. San Francisco is going to go end run with the halfback because they want to eat as much time as possible. Eight end run on the Minnesota defense. And that's going to be a yard. So they have a second and goal from the five. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. Off tackle with the fullback seven. And that's going to be zero. So they got a third and goal from the five. They're going to do a short pass to the tight end. Spurrier is going to drop back and try to pass it into the end zone on an eight. Short pass eight, Minnesota defense incomplete. And so um, San Francisco is going to kick the field goal from the five with their, their kicker, Bruce Gossett. 
and he is 2 to 8, 11, or 12 good. And that's a 2 to 8, 11, or 12, is it? Yep, it's good. So San Francisco does take the lead 27 24 here, and they're going to kick off. Minnesota, of course, bear in mind they have no timeouts, and the two minute warning has already passed. Five on the kickoff is to the 12, number two. Well, that might be a good field position to start with. 12, and the number two back returning it. That's an 11, and that's going to be 28 yards. 3, 10, 20, and 5. They have it first and 10 at the 40, at their own 40 but they only have like four plays. They're gonna go long to the flanker. San Francisco is looking for it. So we're not gonna roll any of the looking for it dice. And that is a four long pass on the San Francisco D. And that's gonna be incomplete. They're gonna go long to the split end that is a four on Tarkenton's card, and it's going to be a must run. Now, he's not bad at running, if you know Fran Tarkenton, and a two is a 21-yard gain. So that's a nice, that gives them a, a fighting chance here. 10, 20, and one, and a first down. But they only have two more plays. They're going to go long to the flanker. Long to the flanker, 10, on Tarkenton's card. And it's going to be incomplete because they were looking for it. And this is the last play of the game. They're going to go long. San Francisco obviously looking for it. That's a five. And that's going to be 31 yards, and it comes up just short, just short of what they needed and that will be the final score. Your final score is the 1972 49ers 27, the 1972 Vikings 24, with the Vikings coming just short of tying the game.